Uh, thank you so much for that, Jamie. Now we're looking at something a little bit more lifting. And of course, with Gospel Monday coming through, you know what time it is now. Shofar Band is the worship and songwriting collective from the Shofar family of churches. Now, the band was born out of a desire to write, sing, and of course, record songs from God. Now, for the band, it is important to put together music that is centered on Christ and saturated with his scripture. And we are delighted to have Shofar Band in the studio with us for Gospel Monday. So please bring a warm welcome for the members Jason George, Jeannie Fadster, and of course Nonsikelelo Humeda. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning, man. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Thank you I had a beautiful us. opportunity to hear some of the back track sound checking oh, this yes. morning. Uh, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it, it was good. We are we're very excited to have you. Also, when you look at them, everybody looks inspired. They look, they look have good. You, you see that it's a good inspiration. They're glowing. They're glowing. That's glowing. Like a huge compliment. No, it's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> it's the truth. So, show far band. Yes. Ten years you guys have been in this uh, game, so to speak. So. Uh, I'm going to start with you. Mm -hmm. How has it been over the past 10 years? How have you managed to keep the vibe together? So, quite frankly, the yes. band has like changed over the last 10 years because okay. people move and they're like transitioning into life. So I'm like two years into the band, two years old. So I'm the baby, okay. sort of. Um, but since I've been here, it's, I guess it's been inspiring, to be honest. It's been inspiring. Um, songwriting with people who are so humble. Um, who just genuinely just want to capture the heart of God. It's not about, hey, how many like, likes or how, like, how many people will listen to this song. It's about like, how do we capture the message of, of, God, of Christ? Like, how do we allow people to hear the heart of God through the song? Um, and if the message, for example, let's say rejoice, if the message is rejoice, it yeah. is linked to the gospel. Um, it's not linked to like, what you feel sounds like rejoicing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been inspiring. That's yeah. so refreshing to hear. It's not for likes, it's for a message, it's At for a purpose, it's yeah. for meaning. That yeah. is special. And that the really fact is. that you're using your beautiful gifts that you've been blessed with to mm. serve a purpose is just astounding. And yeah. you speak about Rejoice, which is also the name of a song that we're going to be getting to hear later on the show, yeah. which is actually off the album Behold, I believe, yes. right? So, I mean, let me ask you, Jeannie, what was the, the inspiration behind the album? What does it exactly mean? So the, the Behold album was really inspired um, as part of our movement that we were like, what we were going through as a movement, as a church movement. Um, and it was, it was kind of a bit of a rough season, rough waters that we were going through. And just as a movement, just to fix our eyes on Christ. And that, that's really one of the, the other songs we're doing as well. Um, so the message Behold, the whole album is about beholding God and just fixing your eyes on Him and just keeping, um, yeah, just your gaze on Him. Like, doesn't matter what comes. So it was really written out of that place to inspire the whole movement um, and to really bring that worship to all the, because Shofar is a collective of churches all over, you know, the world, basically. Um, so to bring that message of just to keep everyone focused on Christ, like that story in the Bible where, um, you know, Jesus is in the boat with you, even though there's like a storm raging around you. So just to kind of keep that focus. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You see, that's, the inspiration. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Too. <laughs> now, now, Jason, I know you, you can't be there with, with blonde hair like mine and not answer any questions. Okay? <laughs> uh, so we did this poll for Gospel Monday and Wait on the Lord was selected as the one to perform, the one that we love to hear. Just a quick background of what that song's about. Actually, interestingly enough, Jeannie wrote that song, um, but that song came out of a season where we, as the songwriting collective of Shofar Band, we decided to write songs for the next album. I think we're in the process of releasing singles rather than albums just to try and get the traction away from COVID and yeah. not having been worshiping live together. But the message of the song is essentially just God is God. We are not God. God has a schedule. God has plans. The schedules are very much different from our plans. Mm -hmm. And how do we get from our plans and our schedules and our ways and fix our attention and gaze on God's ways, be it repentance, be it, yeah. be it learning of what God's love is, what God's love is doing in our hearts and in our lives and waiting on him to do what it is he said that he was going to do. Mm -hmm. Because his word is not going to return void to him, scripture says. So yeah. it's, it's worth waiting for. That's, I believe. Captured. Part. Captured and Captured and Jeannie wrote that and Jason got it, Jason, got it down. <laughs> and Jason's the man on the keys, but yet the voice is just so smooth, it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> he's guys, got that, he's thank got you that so vibe, much you know. for this morning. Of course, we're not going to say goodbye to you because we're going to get a special performance later on the show. So for you, Mzanzi, you want to stick around, of course, after this because the magic will continue. It's Gospel Monday and Shofar Band are going to be performing something special. If you want to get a hold of them, of course, you can head over to shofarband.com and get in touch with the band. Maybe you want to join them, maybe you want to serve, and uh, maybe you just want to see 
some magic. But uh, let us know what you thought of this morning's performance, which you will see later on, and stick around for that. <laughs>